Here comes the nasty girl. Welcome back to the Nasty Graham RPG Podcast. This is the Monster of the Week, Scrimping Down Under, Part 1. Welcome back to Monster of the Week. I'm Matt, and I will be your keeper. Uh, Today, I am joined with... Hey, this is Jake, and I'll be playing Trent Morello, Expediter, Spooky, and Angsty Goth Teen. Hey everyone, uh, this is Dan playing Robert Louis Drake, the Garmage uh, Spell Slinger, and uh, Charlie Day Wannabe. Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Dante, and I am playing the Divine today. Um, the name is Haki, uh, which is African for justice. 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 So oh, justice. I am playing the bartender, <laughs> Divine. Uh, he, she, we. So I'm going to say we the whole time to make my day more hard. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I'm divine. I'm everything right. in one, baby. Bees. Yeah, you're I'm, all, right. I'm all. You and Trent are both going to trigger Ken Wiley. Hi, this is Ryan. Um, I'll be <laughs> back. I'm back as Ken Wiley, the uh, expert saucier and mustachioed boomer. Uh, hi, this is Josh, and I will be playing Walter Bernays, spelled different than the sauce. Um, Recovering, born again, good old boy in the bayou. <laughs> Dante, did you say you are the bartender? Did I get that right? Yes. Am, right, is cool. that the role I'm doing? That like, sounds good. Head mixologist or bartender? I, I would think that we're, it, this is a really fucking fancy restaurant. You're yeah. probably a mixologist. Oh, yes. boy. Mm-hmm. Yep. I got to curse myself and be the mixologist. <laughs> fancy. <laughs> Can I be the someone, hipster mixologist so I can just end my existence? Yeah. So if Absolutely. someone orders, if someone orders whiskey, you give them like a you know a, a whiff of a, a scent that is the right. essence of whiskey. As yes. well as if dry ice isn't involved in at yeah. least forty five percent of your cocktails, you're fucking fired. <laughs> yep. Exactly. It's the shit. I got to make sure I express everything over everything. You know, <laughs> squeeze that. I keep, you know what? I should just keep citrus on me and squeeze into my uh, enemy's eyes. There you go. <laughs> There's a move. Bada bing. I'm just going to be doing a lot of shaking. Speaking of presentation, you are all in the kitchen of Ouroboros. It is a deep cleaning day. Um, (laughs) You have most of the equipment pulled apart. There is the smell of vinegar and stainless steel polish in the air. You know, you're working your way through when Donna comes through the, the kitchen doors Okay, boys, so I know you're here doing some deep cleaning, and Chef Tony's not here. I told you already, he's got to go and do that fucking off-site event. He's not happy, so please do not bring it up to him when he comes back, okay? Yeah, Donna, that's, uh, that's fine. That's fine. We, we got everything covered here. Everything's great. We're, we're good. This place is going to be, you know, spotless. It's going to be clean, and, um, you know. It's, uh, we're, we're pretty much the best. So uh, honestly, ma'am, I, we need at least two or three more hours to really get these to chef standards. I mean, th- I mean, we can't just walk away leaving like this. I mean, you got grease back there. Come on, Bobby. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's, there's some things that you want to just, it's marinating. All right. The, the, it's a process. So, I mean, you're new here. I get it, but, uh, you know, just, just take it from the, uh, the experts. Right, Ken? Yeah, I got the I got that uh, kid we picked up on the from uh, Carrillo um, cleaning up that mess that uh, guy Croissant made with the fire after the last expedition. I oh, actually man. wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, that oven was about a ten thousand dollar oven that's no longer functioning anymore, and uh, Guy is very fucking upset about his jacon sponges not coming out correctly because of that. They've got a a smoky flavor or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I thought they were fucking delicious. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking puke. Why am I cleaning the grease trap? What the fuck? I don't even work back here. Yeah, well, you know, that's not my fucking problem. You gotta talk to Chef about that. I anyway, could have done the off-site listen, event with him. No, you couldn't handle the off-site event with him. Trust me. We have a... Well, do you all know Jack Ma? China, Alibaba, big, you know what, went miss, doesn't matter. 
Doesn't fucking matter if you don't know him. He's got enough money to pay for you to clean the fucking grease trap and for you to crawl in the fucking hoods every goddamn day. And I don't give a fuck what you have to say. Do you understand me? Doesn't need that much money. We get paid minimum wage. <laughs> Jack Ma doesn't really sound like you a get China more than name. minimum wage. Ten cents is more than minimum wage. It's above the state minimum, so you need to shut the fuck up or go find a new goddamn job. So what's the deal with this guy? Is he coming to eat? Yeah. What the fuck do you think we do here? Everybody comes here to eat. Well, almost everybody. Those fucking Rockefellers. They just like to drink their goddamn faces off. The Kardashians just took pictures. All they did was take pictures. That's true. That was a nice payday. But those cheeses, those were a little fucking weird. I'm not going to lie. Got a little indigestion from eating some of those. I'm not sure what they were. But no, Jack Ma has request, requested a very special tasting menu. Uh, and you all are responsible for picking up just a single course. After what happened to Chef Tony on that last adventure, he has decided that y'all aren't quite up to snuff and need to just focus on individual ingredients from now on instead of, you know, whole menus, especially if he's not around. Well, I mean, sure. I mean, we're happy to help out. You know, want to help the restaurant. And, you know, I mean, the Chef will be back for the for the actual plating, right? Uh, yeah, he doesn't fucking trust you guys to cook anything without him here. Honestly, I agree with him. All right. Well, I mean, let's let's bring it together, boys. You know, we'll we'll, we'll get this kitchen spruced up. We we'll have everything ready. We'll really impress Chef. He'll come back, and you know, we'll be just slip it on in, and you know, someday he'll be uh, yeah, kumbaya. Right. Let's fucking go. Wait, Boy. what is wrong with kumbaya? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he meant anything by that. Okay, uh, Hakey, I'm sorry. It I'm, is hockey. Ha- yeah, hockey. I'm sorry about that. It's, hockey. You know. I am. Best mixologist. You have done. We all need quite cocktails. Everybody's so stressed. Actually, why? Why kitchen always so stressed? Why kitchen always so mad? Why don't we all have a shot of whiskey? Uh, I. That's not all when you're on the clock. Okay, not when you're on the. No, we got one shift drink. Yeah, after your fucking shift, are you done working? But this is a deep clean. <laughs> I work front of house. Why am I cleaning kitchen? That's what I'm saying. Don't ask questions. You use the fucking ice machine, don't you? Yeah, it's about bringing in and being a team, being exactly you know, doing it together. Teamwork. Thank you, Walter. Very good. I'm okay. glad you're okay. part of the team nowadays, Walter. You know. Thank you, Walter. Bobby's glowering. Thanks, man. Me you. too. And again, just I want to reiterate. I really appreciate you know the opportunity. Yeah. Um, yeah, Bobby. How's that grease trap coming, buddy? Um, I uh, Bobby abandoned the grease trap because apparently he's the one that de-ices the freezers. So that's I'm the stuck way it with works. the fucking I grease thought, trap. I thought you were the one that iced the freezers. I do both. All right, I am. I am complex. I am a complex individual. I can do many things. You okay. can make things okay. warm and cold. Okay, boys, please. <laughs> Let me give you your fucking assignment for this week because you know it's kind of a little bit of a time crunch and there's a long bit of traveling you have to do and well. You know, I can only do so much. But anyway, Jack Ma has decided he wants his third course of his tasting menu to be popcorn shrimp. Now, I know what you guys are fucking thinking, and it's not regular popcorn shrimp. He doesn't want pink. He wants white. It needs to look and taste and crunch just like fucking popcorn. The only thing that I have been able to find to source this out is um, something called a stygiocaris. It, you know, I'm not big with the sciencey words. I don't deal with that kind of stuff. Uh, best I've been able to find is some sort of troglobitic shrimp. It's translucent, lives underground, and, you know, you get to do a little bit of traveling for it. Get to go to Australia, huh? Wow, Australia. That's clear on the other side of the globe that, wow, get out of town. I do like to travel. Uh, popcorn shrimp reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of one of my favorite, uh, pop, pop, popcorn. He's, uh, he makes, uh, you know, what, what do we call it? Uh, reggae, uh, the, the dance hall. Popcorn, is it, uh, it, so. No, thanks. Not interested. Okay. Um. So, so here's what I'm wondering. Why can't we just take some popcorn and put some like shrimp seasoning on it and call it a day? Oh, Old Bay goes a long way. That's what we used to say. Ooh, that rhymes. 
Ken, <laughs> I know you like to do what you can do to keep food cost in line here, but this is a very important client who is wants a very specific item. There is no fudge in this. Do you understand me? Uh, so there's no fudge on the shrimp. I got it. Please, for the love of fucking God, don't put fudge on the shrimp. I don't think you know how much this shrimp is going to cost us, okay? The jet fuel alone is more than the last trip that you guys made, okay? Trent is Googling shit on his phone, and he goes, are we going fucking splunking? Are we going in a cave? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, do all you know about Australia, Great Barrier Reef, all that kind of cool stuff? Yeah, like everything snakes. there is definitely trying to kill you. Like, everything. Everything there is just trying to murder you. All the worst things are in Australia. <laughs> this so, snakes. I yeah. have yeah. to imagine that this thing is going to try to murder us. I did see a video once about drop bears being the most dangerous creatures in Australia, and that terrified me enough to I've decided I'm never going to fuck my uh, My third ex-wife is Australian. Bobby, uh, she still lives there. Bobby, check out this crab. She did try to kill me. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Don't yeah. forget the rattlesnakes. The snakes in the grass are everywhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, rattlesnakes, good. Okay. <laughs> and uh, watch out for Carol. Carol. <laughs> So, oh, Baskin, God. I hope you were keeping a list of your ex wives' yeah. names somewhere. You're gonna have to. They're all Carol. They're all Carol. <laughs> so, I've done a fair amount of research to kind of make this a little bit easy for you guys, so you know exactly what you're looking for and where you have to go. Hold up, don't we have a shrimp expert already? What about that dude that from the cruise ship? Remember that asshole? Can oh, we just call him up? Yeah, he's, he's cleaning the back right now. Chef, uh, you know, I'm not sure what went down between the two of them, but he doesn't. Uh, He's literally a shrimp scientist. Yeah. Well, Can we maybe know, make an exception? Uh, no, sorry. I, there's only payroll enough for you all to go. So thank you very much. And plus, you don't need a fucking expert for shrimp. You're just going to collect them. What do you need somebody to fucking extra money to tell you what's a fucking shrimp. I'm telling you where to go. I'm telling you what to fucking get. God damn it, Trent. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, all right. I mean... You're be a fucking server. You're just gonna sit in Expo while you got to... Any, I'm sorry. Anyways. So, Barrows Island. Off the northwest coast of Australia. Uh, lots of really unique species out there. You know, lots of fun stuff. Most of it is poisonous, just so you know. Uh, but also... Big oil production, you know, lots of, um, well, from what I've read, pollution. There's a lot of pollution, and you're going to be going for some underwater, you know, underground shrimp. So there's going to be a little bit of complications to some of that. Uh, I'm not really big on the details of that. I just, you know, Wikipedia only tells you so much. If I may, it may not be that bad. Uh, as a descendant of the Zulu nation. Uh, the, the wild safaris of Africa were some of the most challenging. So we should be fine. Plus, we have Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like Aboriginal or something, right? That's the same thing. No, I'm, I'm born. I'm, I'm from the city. I'm from Boston. Oh. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> accent you hear. Okay, yeah. It is, it is my inner goddesses. Okay, sure. I get it. Yeah, you're all very fucking special and that's why you have a job here. So you're... Your goddess is welcome. You know, if she would like anything, just, you know, put it in the request box for me, okay? Th thank you. Thank you. No, no problem. So, back to these Stiggy Eucharists or whatever, whatever the fuck they are. Uh, so, you're going to need to find enough of these things and to feed about 14, 15 people. And uh, they must come back alive. There's like some sort of bacteria toxin kind of thing that if they die before they're cooked, it gets released and it is very toxic. And I am not talking about your last fucking marriage, Ken, so don't goddamn bring it up, okay? <laughs> Fuck. We're all tired of hearing about it. Very sorry. You'll find somebody else. But you need to get over it now, okay? It's number fucking six. What about like a, like a, like a flash freezing? Can, they, can, they, can, we just, can we just freeze them? Uh, I'd have to check with Chef, but I'm pretty sure that freezing shrimp degrades the protein textures. And, you know, 
these are, they're small. They're only like a couple of millimeters. I want to say like 10, 12. I'm not sure. I'm not big on the, is it Imperial? I bet these things go like right up your pee hole. Oh, no, that's the Irukandju. That's, you want to watch out for those. They, I have heard that they're indigenous to, wait, what? Somewhere out on it. Don't worry about it, Trent. You ain't got nothing for them to swim up anyway. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Boy. So, anyways, you guys got like another, what, 45 minutes to an hour here. I've got a flight booked for you. It's going to go out sometime this evening. It's going to be a red eye. So you're going to get to Australia about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. And then you're going to take a boat out to Barrows Island. Once you get there, well, you're kind of on your own. What do you mean on our own? I mean, use your fucking resources and get this shit done. What the fuck do you want from me? Okay, Donna. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, it's sure, so Donna. It's totally worth $12.10 okay. an hour. Yeah. I make twelve fifteen. I mean. What the fuck? <laughs> you still. And you get tips. Both of you. Both of you still make more than Guy Croissant. So just, <laughs> I, just I, calm down. Everyone. I don't get PTO. I None mean, of you get PTO. What the fuck are you talking just about? Just for the opportunity, though. I mean, the Great Barrier Reef, that's exciting. That's Do you think we're going diving? Exactly, Is that Walter. what you think we're doing? I hope not. I'm, sharks make me send me a little eebie-jeebies right up the back of the old spine. Well, we'll give you the company credit card, so if you do need to go scuba diving and buy any, like, tanks or wetsuits or anything like that, fucking go for it. But if I see any fucking recreational surfing... Anything like that, I'm going to take it out of your fucking asses. Do you understand me? That's, no. that's right. I'll keep a cloche wash on it for you for Donna. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. That's the kind of man I like to see. Ah. Maybe I'll be number seven one of these. No, I'm just fucking kidding. I'm not gonna <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I have a fucking wine tasting that I have to get to for the next menu. So, you know, work it out. M- ma'am, if, if I may. Yes. Um, who's in charge about chef here? I, I know the uh, executive chef position isn't. Completely filled. Well, um, that's a good fucking question. Ken's got seniority. We'll go with him. I agree. Oh, Ken looks like a strong leader. (laughs) (laughs) This is fucking. (laughs) Hey, this is Yogis (laughs) 2.0. If you want to choose somebody else to lead this fucking party, Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. So long as you come back with 15 orders of a dozen shrimp, I'll be good. Okay. If not, well, let's just say cleaning the fucking grease trap is going to be the least of your goddamn problems. You got this. <clears throat> Bobby you, Drake. N- nodding slowly. Uh-huh. Right, we got yeah. this. Yeah. It'll be great. We will be fine. We, we have a strong leader. Look at him. Look at his mustache. He is a strong leader right here. <laughs> good, good. Okay. I'm going to go. You know, uh, if you need anything, don't fucking call me. Donna turns around. And walks out of the kitchen. Right. You can hear the click clack of her stilettos Jesus. on Have a the tile day. floor. It's so fucking <laughs> hot when she yells at us like that. <sighs> well, what do you say, Ken? Uh, Costco has got shrimp. We buy a couple orders and then you know spend the spend the weekend uh, just playing Xbox. Okay, nope. well, I think we should look at this as an opportunity, and I'm very excited, Ken, to to set out there with you. This is an opportunity to really really shine without Chef. You know, right there, and we can come back, and he'll be impressed, and it may be a little bit more willing to offer us some responsibility, and Don will be happy, and we can. We oh, can- oh yeah, hey Walter, here I throw a rag at you. I say you got some shit on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I? Is it that grease? And I was, I was getting well, Walter, right up there. The no right, you were getting no right shit. up there. You're getting right up there in Donna's asshole. Yeah, there's no shit on mm. your nose. He is a liar. <laughs> okay, I, I get it. I get it. And a little dig at my expense. That's that's fine. That's. Fine. Hey, um, hey, listen, if anybody here wants to get up Donna's asshole, it's Trent. All right? <laughs> Fact. She, she might be old enough to be a mother, Trent. So. That's why it's so fucking hot. <laughs> the older the berry, the sweeter the juice. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, Black Panther, knows what's up. <laughs> Bobby wouldn't understand. He just freezes all the berries he encounters. Oh, like twigs and berries. Y- yeah, those two. Yeah. You should not freeze everything. You should cook it. 
Wait when you get. We it. need to make sure that things are fresh here. That's what. That's what I got to make sure. I got to make sure that everything is at exactly the right temperature. That's a lot of pressure. Well, she, so uh, as soon as you understand what that sort of pressure is like, especially when we have these kind of ingredients, then you'll know what it's like. Do to be you made. not see the cocktails I have to make? Were any of you assholes oh, even listening? I'm pretty sure she said we had to bring them back alive. See, no she, freeze. Yeah, she definitely said that's that. A fact, but yeah. Hey, before we go, guys, we got to get this kitchen spick and span. I mean, you got time to lean, you got time to clean, right? Okay. Uh, is it a Walter? It rhymes. It must be true. Yeah. yeah Walter. Oh, shit. Ooh, I do not like Walter. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think we are just not on the right on the right foot. That's right, Walter. I'm, I'm going too. to get Walter fucking hammered and see how he ends later. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm <laughs> which seven, seventeen months sober, hockey. So well, it's about to be the zero. Okay. So so listen. <laughs> Okay, b- before before we get back from Australia, yes. your mission is to get Walter fucking hammered. And we're clean so, and low. <laughs> <laughs> Consider it done. Mm-hmm. I keep my whole liquor shelf in my special I, bag. I it's worked with Walter bag, a long friend. time ago. Let me say, he is a lot more fun uh, when he's drunk, high, <laughs> or literally anything but um, like oh, fucking Jesus. So, I am a bartender. I have all of those yeah, things. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Walter, I appreciate you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got uh, to the wrong that, foot. What's that hockey? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got to the wrong way foot. behind the fries here. I'm, I'm nothing. I'm going to go. I, I get to, uh, get my equipment ready. My equipment's ready. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure that's a gas leak back there, Walter. You should be careful. <sighs> Breathe deep. Oh, something. <laughs> uh, does anybody have any start of adventure moves? Nope, not none here. Sweet, that makes this a lot easier. Mm-hmm. No, 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 I didn't you, know if Archie? it was going to be no. worth it. I was trying to handicap myself a little bit, so <laughs> yeah, I didn't take no. it. No, um, I will. I will explore my dark past at some point, but we're not there not yet. yet. We're not yeah. there yet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you look up what these things are in your mystical library? Mm. Is that a pre-adventure thing? I mean, my my mystical library um, really has more like mystical recipes. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, is there any gear any of you would like to gather before you uh, make your trip down under? Are we allowed to like use the company card to buy shit? Yeah, within reason. Yeah. Um, what would we normally need to transport like live produce here? Like, uh, just I mean, shrimp is usually bagged, right? Shrimp is generally shrimp is almost always frozen. Yeah. You never get like live shrimp in this country unless it's you're like I don't even think you can get them at the source. I don't think I've ever seen live shrimp in my life. I actually sorry, real quick. I do have a question. If this can help us, I don't know. Uh one of my abilities is uh what I want when I need it. It's basically like a little fortress of solitude for items or items. Is that something I could maybe be able to like once we collect the shrimp? Maybe like store it so it stays somewhere safe. I think I don't know what, it, that ability is was kind it like of, something smaller. That like ability a, is more of like in the moment, like you know, if we're in a weird situation, cool. you could be like, "Oh, I got a thing in my bag." That's, okay, that's helpful Perfect. for that. All right, yeah. Oh, I got a lockpick set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, that, that kind of hand that will help us out. All right, uh, cool. Um, but Trent is gonna. Um, I don't know if uh, if Ken is gonna go with him or or just if he's just gonna take the card. But we're in New York, so you know, uh, you know how there's those like electronic stores like on like every block that have like a bunch of fucking random shit they sell phone like chargers and phone oh, yeah. chargers and what? Ca- cameras and what what whatever you can imagine he's gonna ride his skateboard down to one of those and he's gonna pick up a pair of night vision goggles okay nice smart just one no no we're getting two I, if if ken's with me then I'm, yeah. yeah we'll probably we'll get two or we're not gonna get enough for everyone <laughs> how many do they have at the store I don't. Uh, I got starry eyes. It's kind eyes. of a weird thing. So, my character has starry eyes. Can I just use those as night vision? Oh no! Some, <laughs> somebody, somebody, roll me a d six and see how many a they D6? have. Or, um, I have got it. Ten is too many. So three. I have, I have preparedness. So you get three. Oh, wait, oh okay. Get preparedness. Um, so if I need something unusual or rare, so I roll. Um, so I'm gonna roll plus sharp. You know, I, I, this is a good idea. Uh, Trent, I know a place, um, a couple blocks from here. Um, I used to go there. It's, it, it's not really a place so much as a guy. Um, he does a lot of recon work for people who are trying to recon watch other work. people. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying. Um, but like he has vo- all like this voyeurish shit. shit. I mean, uh, that's whatever, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, Hey, I'm not yucking your yum. It, 
It's all good. Listen, listen. When you're trying to when you're trying to figure <laughs> out who your wife is fucking, um, you need this sort of stuff. So, you know that that's when we go see Sleazy Vinny. <laughs> um, so I rolled a eleven. Ken, which you is, are so a fourteen. So, Ken, you are so <laughs> insightful. Okay. So I'm gonna go see Sleazy Vinny. And uh, so, you know, Sleazy Vinny is down in the Bowery District. Yep. He's got one of those like one of those faded yep. window stores. It's like yellowed with patina yep. and there's like just stacks of fucking shit in the windows. Are there uh, are there mogwais there? Oh, can we get <laughs> Not right now. Next game. Next game. We're free, we're cooking mogwai. <laughs> oh, he actually sold you a couple of those for a, a special meal uh, that you had to do, but they wanted gremlins, and that was a uh, Dan is know. pulling tools. Just pulling <laughs> tools. Dan is demonstrating your power. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Oh, I need a wrench. Here we uh-huh. go. Yeah, you go. Channel locks. We'll have these in game just because they're here. <laughs> those are in game now. You head down to the Bowery and you uh, you're able to find your connect, and he actually has six pairs of night vision goggles for you. Oh, sweet! Just fresh shipment in from China. You know, brand new batteries. They should be good. He guarantees them for at least six hours of use. All right. Actually, we're going down under. Should I can I go somewhere and get maybe some anti venom? Mm-hmm. Um, something or maybe when I mean, maybe you're I'll there. keep that in my chest of drawers. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, I'm ready I think for that. Maybe I'm when you're there, you might be able to talk to somebody, get something. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna write that down. In New York, probably not. Um, should you guys gather up all of your your gear? You pack bags for mm-hmm. a couple of days. Head on down to uh, LaGuardia and uh, get your boarding passes. Donna didn't skimp. You guys have uh, business class down to Australia. Uh, it is one layover, so it's going to be a 23-hour flight. Oh, my God. Gross. Uh, but, you know, at least you get, you know, I free drinks divide. and meals. This is not bothering Walter, me. Walter, you, uh, you, how, how are you with flying? Well, uh, closer to God. Yeah. I mean, since I've been free and clear of the state of New York, you know, legally speaking, <laughs> I've only... Uh, Taking one flight to Florida and back, and uh, actually, I guess my longest was went across the pond a couple of times back uh, in the early 2000s. So, I mean, this is going to be a longest one for me. Oh my god! I just, I just wanted to know if you need something to take the edge off. But okay, thank you for the for the like whole backstory there. That was um, it was marvelous. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Happy, happy to tell. I'm an open book. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. This is the best character. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. <sighs> All right. You guys board the plane and it is it's a shitty fucking flight. Walter is wearing a straight up crocodile dundee hat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. He is ready. Um He went to Dick Sporting Goods before we left. Mm-hmm. 23 hours is a long time. You guys arrive. It is Late morning, and uh, you arrive in Perth. Head down to the port to find a uh, a boat that's going to carry you out to Barrows Island. Um, again, Barrows Island, mostly conservation land. Uh, there are a lot of oil refineries that are there. Um, good coastline, rocky, sandy, prairie lands. And like Donna told you, there are a lot of very unique species that can only be found on Barrows Island. But the water is very shallow. Any of the oil that gets produced on Barrows Island has to get shipped uh, in pipelines four miles off the coast to allow it to get loaded onto tankers. So what type of ship you take out there is kind of limited. Hmm. We don't take There are ferries or no? No, there are okay. no. It's mostly private enterprise that goes out there. Got it. Well, I see a dock down there. Looks like uh, charter boats and such, and we've got stuff like that down in Florida. I mean, these guys, they'll, you know, you give them a couple bucks or whatever, all Australian bucks, and I'm sure we can get somebody to give us a ride out there. Uh, they call them ruse down here. Ruse, okay. Yeah. Good, good. All right. Yeah, because uh, kangaroos. Yeah. Oh, right. Joey's. Let's uh, let's get us that's, a ride. That's the coinage. The coinage is Joey's. Yeah. No, ten Joey's is a roux, right? Yeah. Ten to one. Like okay, 
It's like a dime. Joey's a dime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like you're that, trying to, you're trying right. to buy? Like that Donna. Yeah. That Donna so, is a dime. What <laughs> fucking kind of gorilla math is this? <laughs> you know, there are no gorillas in Australia. Let's go. Here we go. I think we kind of make our way down the docks, uh, looking probably for uh, any of the charter boats for like either shark fishing or any of that stuff that I'm sure like the Great Barrier Reef tours. I'm sure there's tons of stuff like that. You do. You find there are fishing charters. There are sort of like pleasure cruises that take you out and do sightseeing. There are dive boats that you could take that would take you out there and you can dive along the Great Barrier Reef instead of just trying to fish and catch. And there are also a few other what look like science vessels that may go out and do research. I think Walter, he he spent a bit of time out on the water. Um, And if we kind of went over that info about Barrows Island... He's looking for something with a shallow, shallower draft and uh, a lot of engines. Okay. Uh, Walter, Walter kind of takes the lead on this and, you know, he sees a lot of the, the charter fishing boats are more deep water boats and they're meant to catch sort of some of the bigger game fish. The science vessels are much more shallow bottomed and they're sort of designed to get closer to the shore as well as some of the, they're like pontoon boats for the dive boats. Mm-hmm. You know, they, sure. you can fit like 20 people, flat bottom. They don't go very fast, but they can get into very shallow waters if necessary. Whereas the science boats are more sort of get you to a point offshore and then you can swim or take a little Zodiac in or something like that. We think about one of these pontoon boats, fellas, get us right up and in there. And, you know, if we got to circle the island or anything, we can find the right spot. Do we, do we even know what we're looking for? Shrimp. I mean, yeah, but I don't think they're in a cave <clears throat> with a pontoon boat. Hockey, I know you're new. So I just, just as a general rule, whenever we go out like this, assume that you may die. Everything is going to okay. get fucked. Yeah. Okay. Everything. Okay. Like, yep. I don't know if you caught the the underlying, the nuances of what Donna was saying. You know, lots of pollution, lots of weird species. Yeah, we're, I mean, last time these guys got fucking attacked by a, a 30-foot shrimp. Oh. Um, nope, no, it was mechanical birds. That is okay. I am from the hood. <laughs> <laughs> it, I have seen I, some shit. I'm not shit. sure that'll help you, but uh, just forewarned, okay? Forewarned. Uh, th- okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> so we're looking for hey death, there, Skipper. Death shrimp. I am sir. divine. Yeah. I am yep. divine. I will be okay. <clears throat> Probably gonna die. Walter starts walking down towards one of the pontoon boats. And I cannot believe he survived. Oh I mate. I mean <laughs> What can I do you for? <laughs> hey sir, yes. my, my name is Walter. Me and my uh friends here we're actually uh staff of a restaurant. We're out here doing a little uh high end forge and and uh wonder if we might be able to Higher services. We're looking to get out to Barrows Islands, and we got all the ruse that it will take. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you say second. ruse? Yeah, I, or Joey's? Or it's <laughs> gonna. He looks around and is. Is this guy fucking with me? Is it? Is this some sort of fucking joke? Uh, so we have it. We have the Joey's for you too. <laughs> I think they want the ruse. We're talking a lot of Trent, ruse. Trent Tim Joey laughing and like walks away. I thought like Tim laughing. Joey's was a ruse. Can, can, can this is him? Ruse? Ten, oh, Christ. Hey, hey. Tim Just Joey's give him the company card. Rude. Just give him the card. No. It's all. It's but we are in Australia. Can't. There's no exchange oh, rates with the credit card. I want to use their money. Fine. We're fine. Science boy, you know how to work a walkie talkie, right? <laughs> this isn't a science boy. This is a pontoon boat. Yeah, I'm fucking dive master. Oh, I like this guy already. All right. He knows how to work a walkie talkie. Sign us up. Yeah. All right. Six, six, y'all. Uh, f- five. Five? You need, uh, yeah, I don't I mean, think the keepers come. Plus Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is always, always yeah. go by. Like, always, <laughs> it's always there with us. Hallelujah. You need gear, tanks, 
snorkels, masks, fins, wetsuits, yeah, uh, anything have, like that? Uh, yeah, yeah. We also uh, do. You have any like um, when you say tanks? I know you mean like scuba tanks. Yeah, but like maybe some fish tanks too, because uh, we we got to catch some shrimp. That is a good idea. Yeah, it's like an aquarium or some shit. You sure you don't want one of them uh, chatter boats? You want shrimp? I just mostly pleasure. Chowder boat. Go in. Go take you to some of the fucking beaches. We want to go uh, diving in caves. Okay. A little spelunking, if you will. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we also have no fucking clue how to dive. Uh, so uh, speak for yourself. Um, I've, you know, I, I'm a certified um, uh, scuba diver from uh, several carnival cruise expeditions. Um, <laughs> so, okay, you know, yeah. I, I know my way around uh, wetsuit. All right, so I'll let you take the lead on most of it, huh? Yeah. yeah. I wear men's Perfect. small. <laughs> Walter's gone a little white, and he looks at you guys, and he says, uh, uh, caves? Are they, are they underwater caves? Well, some, yeah, Barrels Island got all sorts of caves. Underwater, you can walk along the shore. There's some rocks that you can get into. A couple fucking sinkholes in the middle of the island. Them, them fucking oil rigs left a bunch of fucking spots out there. But, oh no shit! So they just like drill holes and leave them. Well, you know when the when they ain't got no more oil, they just fucking pull the rig. Sometimes, sometimes it fucking sinks. Barrels Island, there's lots of underground caves here. Well, that sounds horrible and terrifying. So that's probably where we need to go. Yeah, and listen, sir, I, I'm sorry if I got off the wrong foot bringing up money too early. <laughs> you know, I don't know the culture here as much. Um, born, raised in the U.S. Is that the fuck you were talking about? Money, Joey's ruse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, he looks at Ken. <laughs> you know, you're all. all ah, fun. you fucking cunt! That was fucking funny. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> he got you good, buddy. <laughs> Shit. Is that oh, not I get money? it. They're not. I get it because kangaroos. You're making them. That's funny. That's well, that's a good one, Ken. All right. All well, right. he's in, buddy. Yo, Walter's gonna snap and kill all of us. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. He's gonna kill us. <laughs> well. I guess we just what we're looking to say is we, we need the higher service. We need to get out there. If you know the lay of the land, all the better. And, uh, you know, m- money aside, you know, we are uh, ready and willing to pay whatever it takes. If you have the equipment and the know-how, you'll be taken care of. So long as you got the money, I got what you need. Now, if you have a specific cave you all want to go to, something you're looking for, I show him. I show him the shrimp on my phone. Oh, word. the fuck is that? It's a, a stegosaurus. It's a popcorn shrimp. It's a stegosaurus. Yeah, we're not hunting dinosaurs. <laughs> for fuck's sake! Uh I've never seen one of those in my goddamn life. It's a troglodytic, which I think well, means it lives in a cave. Yes. Okay. So we got to go into the caves any in cave. Barrows Island. They just live in any cave out there? Well, I don't know. Probably ones with water since they're shrimp. I don't think they're like land shrimp. Is that a thing over here? Is land shrimp a thing? Well, I mean, there have been stories out in Dude, the- I showed you those crabs. Yeah. Those things are fucking crazy. It is a special shrimp. I told Would you, that help you, us? You got to talk to the doctor about that. That's a- <laughs> We're not looking for ordinary shrimp. We're looking for a special shrimp. Do you know a place where there's- a- Oh, man, I just went French. Do you know a place where there's a, uh, a special shrimp? French West Africa. Oh, wee wee. I mean. Uh, not really. All right. Can we you need, show us the way? We need a, a cave that's underwater and probably the most polluted, shitty place that you that you know. Oil spill. Okay. Maybe Shh. radioactive. I don't know. What the fuck happened to the last one, Ken? Um, that's classified. I, I mean, wasn't it what? your? Didn't you try to make a cocktail sauce? Um, you know, things happen. Went bad, things right? happen sometimes when you, you know, when you're working with um, Mark McGrath and Sugar Ray. Um, you know, they they request certain things. And, you were with um, Mark McGrath. You, you know, Mark McGrath was one. Of, <laughs> That's pretty fucking amazing. No way. Yeah, I. You know, I, I was. Wait, the, you uh, know who Mark McGrath is? You know Mark McGrath. <laughs> Uh, you, you do not know Mark McGrath. We, you we, know Mark McGrath. I, I was the I was the uh, oh my goodness the tour chef for. Uh, oh, I have to walk away. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for their uh, 14 colon 59 tour back in uh, back in 99. 
um, you know, I was the, uh, the, the head chef of the tour. So, you know, it was kind of a big deal. Um, but we, we were uh, doing a little, uh, little R and R, uh, out on, um, out, out in the Pacific. Um, you know, they, they were looking for some cocktail sauce, uh, you know, for some shrimp, ironically enough. Um, and I tried to whip something up with, um, uh, uh, faulty microwave. I think. I think there was some gamma radiation involved. I don't know. I was <laughs> you pretty. Just, you plain fucked it up. Everyone got food poisoning. Everyone. Everyone. Oh no, <clears throat> uh, that's untrue. Um, right, gentlemen, gentlemen, Mr. McGrath gentlemen. threw the cocktail sauce right into the water, <laughs> which then led to. Um, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure uh, created that giant mantis shrimp. So, so uh, you know, the restaurant is welcome for for that because. So what do you say, me. Skipper? Uh, I mean, I can take you out there. Polluted, sure. I mean, I've been out in these waters for 20, 30 years. And I tell you, most of what's out there, if you want to find something living, you don't exactly want to find uh, polluted waters. Shrimp shrimp, kind of like a little bit cleaner. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too, right? Oh, yeah. Aren't they very sensitive to bad water? Uh, yeah. I'm sure y'all, America, that has Gulf oil spill. That wasn't great for the shrimp populations, from what I heard. Uh, which one? Yeah. You just yeah. don't get started on the whole BP global warming nonsense. <laughs> the earth is crying. It is too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I am from Boston. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. I... We we do know, right? We, we Donna told us that the, all the shrimp, they're somewhere on the island. How, how big is this island? I mean, I figured, did none of you guys take notes? Because, like, I wrote down Stigiocaris. I wrote down popcorn and shrimp. And Barrows Island and popcorn shrimp. The, the shrimp are invisible. They're like, that. you can't see them. So we're just going to use our... Um, wait, wait. I'm sorry. She did say that they let uh, release a toxin when they die immediately or quickly. So we have to look for that shrimp. And also Donna gave us a job. That's what I wrote. All right. What would Chef do? Let's ask he, he would probably yell at us. and us. Um, Extensively. Loudly. Yeah, he would yell at us. And then I would yell at you guys to try to um, yeah. to diffract def- 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 the, the yelling. I'd probably down. take the Lord's name in vain. We have a tendency to do that, but that's all right. Well, I'll tell you, Barrels Island, it's about 12 miles by five miles for you. Yes. And there's a lot of caves. Uh Quite a few. Most of them sort of untraversed. Not, not really a lot that's uh, known about them. Is there honest. like a, like hotels out there, like motels, maybe an Airbnb, something something cozy? Sure. All right. So we got like 160 square kilometers to to search here. All right. We can do this. We just got to find the right caves. Ken, did you just do that fucking math in your head, dude? Yeah, so. Wow, why are you doing this job, man? Uh, f- for the money. Yeah, alimony. how much do you get paid? Times six. It's uh, it's classified. <laughs> See, that's the kind of bullshit that that is the man just controlling our income by saying we shouldn't talk about it. I get twelve dollars and ten cents. You, that's U.S. an hour. Sure, it's not bullshit. Oh, you're, you're paid hourly. Are are your Gen Zers like this one? Yeah, I here? have. Uh, yeah, yeah, bunch of fucking cunts. <laughs> so I just pulled up my phone and opened up their Google, and it says most shrimp production occurs in Queensland, New South Wales, and Western Australia. That is where the shrimp is. But we don't need normal okay. shrimp. We need we need Barrows Island shrimp. Okay, I so look. So we need to. Um, I think we just need to make like maybe a coordinated search. Or maybe <laughs> this guy is fucking like. <laughs> what about what about scientists? Are there scientists? Like so here's people? what we do: uh, we find some shrimp pheromones, we douse Bobby in them, and we throw them in a cave Why me? and see what. Why do I have to get It's the always shrimp you, Bobby. It's always you, Bobby. Mm-mm. Hey, what are all these science ships out here doing? I, I turn towards the guy. Uh no, no more science ships. Far as I know, studying the reefs, die off. Maybe we should go out there and talk to them. Okay, Trent. You're on it. Go talk to some scientists. Cool. I will continue looking at Google. Find us a smart guy. Or yeah. Oh yeah. Um, if there's any really tall female scientists, um, you can bring them over here. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, Trent, it sounds like you are trying to investigate a mystery. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. You're going to roll it up. Roll the die. Do it. What, what is that? That's a. Oh, I, I'm good at that. I think Ken's going to go with. Oh. <laughs> You're not good at rolling it. <laughs> That's ice cold. Is anyone coming with me? <clears throat> oh, I, I, I can go. Nice. You might want to help him out. Can, yeah, I was going to say, I was just about to pull that up. Can I help you? What do I roll? You roll cool. Ooh, so cool. Two die six. A, you need two die six. I got my two. All right. Ooh, my cool is a plus one. Roll both of them. Mm-hmm. Come on. Are we helping or are we investigating? Oh, there it is. Ten. I wrote a ten. Get eleven. Call plus me. plus one. Eleven. Yep. I believe that means you help without without penalty. exposing without, without exposing yourself. Um, so with his help, I have a seven, which okay. is a mixed result. Okay. Uh, you go and talk to some of the science vessels and you find out that one of them is doing um, research for uh, pollutants coming off from the shore, seeing the effects of these oil rigs on the runoff from the islands and some of the underground aquifers that are there. And uh, you find that there are quite a bit of pollutants on the island. Um, there are a few spots on the northeastern side of the island where there isn't as much oil production, uh, and those would probably be your best bet for finding unpolluted groundwater systems. Are any of them specifically looking at the effects that it has on the wildlife? Uh, no. No. Just they're just measuring amounts, okay. And it seems that the levels are higher on the southern portion of the island, okay. So the northeast is the least polluted, yeah. All right, uh, but you also you ask about these, uh, these shrimp, and they've heard of them, they know that they are deeper in some of these cave systems, uh, where. There is very little access to light, and it is not a safe and easy journey to get to where these creatures were found. Are are they in those aquifers? Yes. I say, so do you guys, how, how do you map the aquifers? Do you like use like sonar or something like that? Uh, well, we fucking down. It's, uh, mostly drowns. No shit. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty easy nowadays. You just send them down. They fucking scoot around. You watch on the video. Okay. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. All right. I got to tell Donna. To, I, 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 do, I look towards hockey. I say, we got to tell Donna to buy a drone. We need a drone. That'd be sweet. We can just <clears throat> use their drone and we don't have to die. Yeah. No shit. I don't want to die. But it Put is a up. good day to die. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. All right, thanks. I guess we're going northeast and going to a really dangerous cave. I took down their notes. Cool. I think Walter actually stayed back. He's just chumming up with this captain. Let's go. Realize we're okay. Came off kind of crazy, and he just kind of hangs by and says, "You know, like reassures him that we're still going to hire him." As they're talking to the science geeks, and tries to buds up a little bit. Talks, talks about like you know what he does out here, the trips and where he's from and his family. Okay. Um, give me a manipulate someone charm. That's a tenor. Nice. Mm -hmm. You are able to sort of assuage this guy's fear of bringing a bunch of fucking crazy Americans out to this Island for, cave shrimp as far as you've described it to him um and he's going to allow you to use some of his uh some of their gear you'll have access to some scuba gear um and he will provide you with some basic diving lessons how to sort of you know Sweet. breathe without causing a nitrogen bubble in your lungs so that you die all right before we head back i say oh uh one more question for you uh, 
I, I've I've seen um, Finding Nemo. Are there a lot of reef sharks out here? Is that a thing? That's a thing in Australia, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those those fuckers will eat you, right? Everything will fucking eat you out here. Awesome. Thanks. That's that's great. Isn't that great? It is just lovely. So cool. We are right. gonna die. All right. Let's uh, let's go tell Ken. Okay, we tell Ken. Hey Ken, good yeah. news. Northeast part of the yeah. island uh, is the least polluted. And apparently there's some really deep aquifers and that's where we can find the shrimp. Okay. That's great. And uh, you found some tall female scientists. No, uh, but there are lots of sharks and uh, they said that that's a really dangerous place and we basically shouldn't go. No, I, uh, I saw that finding Nemo movie. Yeah. No uh, the sharks around here are vegetarians. Uh, uh, fish are fish friends, are, not yes. food. Yes. Fish are friends, not food. So don't he, even worry he, about he that. He is correct. He is correct. I, I've yeah. seen the same movie. <laughs> Also, we should get the, the drones. They say underwater drones. They use drones to, like, you know, scout out the tunnels and shit like that. Uh, so did, you didn't buy their drone? They, I don't think they want to sell us their drones. But I'm just saying, you know, um, whoever makes it back alive should probably tell Donna we need some drones. Hey, uh, Bobby, uh, can you steal one of those science drones? Do I... <laughs> Do I look like a criminal? Oh, no, you're right. Um, hey, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks up. He's over talking to the captain. Uh, maybe What's you up, can, Ken? Maybe uh, <laughs> you can, you know, get those science guys to let us borrow one of uh, one of their drones. And if they won't let us borrow them, uh, maybe you can just take one for a little while. We'll give it back. No, I, I think, uh, what was the captain's name? Did I get it? Ahab. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Paul. I was like, Captain Paul. He's got everything we need. We're, we're all set. We're going to get some lessons. We're going to get out there, get our feet wet. And, uh, was that a fucking scuba pun? <laughs> a little bit of a pun. Hey, everybody's joking. I, I'm going to freeze you to death. That's what I'm going to do. When we're underwater. I'm going to freeze you to death. <laughs> He's he, again, we, I told you we're working in restaurants, a lot of joking, a lot of jib and jabbing. And you know, it's, it's all out of love. I'm serious. Yeah. I stare at him. Yo, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Captain Paul, do you have, um, okay, well, uh, Captain Paul, do you have harpoon guns? Yeah. Nice. I just, want, He's everybody got, signed the waiver, right? Was that a general make sure. question? <laughs> <laughs> we need to there. take these things alive. Yeah, okay. Sign so, the waiver. I, I've told I'm him about the sharks. You know, <clears throat> all indemnities and, and whatnot. So sign it up and uh, company card. We're good to go. I think the one thing, Matt, that I want to make sure of is that we have some means of transporting these things. And I'm kind of thinking like when you go and buy fish at, you know, the pet store, they kind of just bag them. And some fish um, bags. We were on, how are we supposed to get them back if we're flying business class? <laughs> what about like, customs? It's not an honest like, problem. What about like, problem. like little crawfish bags? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you also do know that she requested fish. 15 orders of 12. 12. Yeah. Um, well, we do have the company card. We could charter a private jet mm -hmm. and go home. Yeah, if we get it. If we get it. I mean, accounting, we got we got to account for uh, do you, do you for do loss charter, on the way charter, like, you do charter fishing trips? Uh, me now. Oh, shit. I don't, I don't think we need Those this, dude. Do. I think we need a fishing boat. No, no, no. Cap Captain Paul, that's where we're, we're already signed up, man. I mean, we... We yeah, need he, a. He did. He already did pay the uh, deposit. Well, I don't give a shit. It's not our money. We Let's are, just we already got a keep kind of the deposit and get going. a better boat. I I don't think that the the to, guys. We gotta focus. We gotta figure out how we're gonna capture these little fuckers. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we need a fishing boat. They no. have they have live wells. They things full of water. You just put the fish in it and they stay alive. Um, is there such uh, Captain Paul? You might know this because uh, you know about water and shit. Is there such a thing as an underwater vacuum, and can we get one? <laughs> Fuck. Because we like it would like we're trying to get these little shrimps, right? So if we can like fucking suck them up into like a vacuum, that'd be the easiest way, right? We we'll just net them. He just Captain Paul is just staring at you, mouth agape, shaking his head. Underwater. I think we already made Back a gentleman's in. agreement, so I think we're kind of. Yeah, I think if we got nets and we got 
all the scuba gear that we're gonna need. Well, we're There's shops need, like, all up and down. I mean, mm-hmm. Trent, you're still young. You can you can make something yourself. This is your calling. Invent an underwater vacuum. Dude, you'll make billions. Have you never seen a pool? Like that's the thing, man. So let's find the nearest pool supply <laughs> store. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hold up. Is is that a Taylor twelve string right there? Yeah. Oh, if fuck. you don't mind, I, I, I play a little bit. For Boys, I think this sake. is Bobby this is walks our boat. off. <laughs> this is our boat. <laughs> Uh, Bobby's going to look for like a fishing supply place. Okay. And I think he just wants to like try to get the lay of the land and see what he could possibly find like nets, um, anything that could be used to like capture. I know that they have like net bags for when people uh, like hunt lionfish and stuff. Mm -hmm. So anything like that, that if we catch them underwater, we have a place to put them and like transport them. So you looking for a net that's going to be able to strain them out of water, or are you looking for something that's going to be able to hold water and shrimp at the same time? Both. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, totally. <laughs> so I think so. A holy bag that holds water. Perfect. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I think <laughs> those are things. Cheesecloth. Right? I think the thing is, is like, um, I think we need nets and we need like some coolers, right? Like we, big, yeah. big ass coolers. What about lights? Because this is gonna be dark too. Should we, we got be... the night vision. Oh yes, I forgot. Well, yeah, but probably that's, doesn't work underwater. That doesn't work. Damn like, it! While you're in it. Maybe. But we don't know that we could be walking down to some of these aquifers. Who knows? Yeah. So I think we just want to be generally prepared. We're gonna look like such a bunch of fucking yucks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking night vision goggles. <laughs> <laughs> Heading down to some. Bunch of wetsuits on. Yeah. I think um I I think I go with Bobby to and and help him buy some coolers and shit. Okay. Um can gonna, you guys get some sort of like small hold nets? Um you also get some watertight like live well coolers, things that would you'd be able to hold water and keep a live creatures in. Um, Theoretically based on the size of them, pretty much like one cooler would, would hold them all if we could get them in there. Right. They're, they're supposed to be tiny. Yeah. They're like, they're like 0.8 inches okay. is like the maximum size on these things. So okay, like three quarters don't, of an don't inch. forget to get some chow and, and drinks. We're going to be out there a while. He says over, Playing the first few strums of <laughs> praise. Uh, this is Lord. What, I lift what, your name on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, so you're you're at an Australian fishing store. So there's some marmite. Perfect. I could, I could always because I started making a little list. I could go get those general supplies as well if we need it. Yeah. Um, I wrote anti venom medical drinks? supplies and drugs. Party well, supplies. Well, well, yeah, well, we're drugs. getting food well, drinks. we're getting food. Um, I. You're not with us, right, Josh? No. So anytime like someone puts anything non-alcoholic in the cart, I take it out. Okay. So <laughs> like I get lots of like alcohol, like you know, like hard seltzers and shit so, that look like they're not alcohol nice. as well. We but, will like, show you nothing, doing. nothing non-alcoholic. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm writing that down. All booze. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, we can survive. The most kid friendly survived our rum. How did we survive our first few hunting <laughs> excursions? I don't know how. We were we're surrounded not, by we had chef. I think we she, had chef. chef kept yeah, us we had chef. Um, 100%. We had is, the there, chosen. is there hotels nearby? Oh, boy. Uh, there this are some, good. like, grimy motels for a lot of the sort of oil rig workers. Do any of them have pools? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, I want to go to a hotel with a pool. On Barrows Island? Um, no, before we okay. up here, okay. um, I'm 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 gonna try to um, steal their their pool vacuum. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right. Give me a roll of <laughs> probably act under pressure. act under pressure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna pose as a uh, a pool supply salesman, and um, and I'm gonna go in and act it, and I'm gonna so I'm gonna go in there. Um, and when I get there, um, roll the six plus three, so nine. Um, it's mixed success. Mixed success. Okay. So I'm going to um, look at their. Yeah, I'm going to go in and, and just make. So, so what? Are, what are you guys working with? Uh, you know, in terms of uh, uh, pool cleaners. I see you have a nice filtration system over there that might be getting the job done. But how do you reach the corners? How do you get to the the, the tough, the hard to reach places in this in this pool of yours? 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I know this is not an Olympic size swimming pool. It's a beautiful pool you have here. Well, um, we we use that uh, one of those manual fucking brushes. It's like that twelve foot long pole with the little uh, triangular brushy thing down there, and that scoops up. We got the hose. This all. little this little uh, robot here kind of edges around the pool and sucks it all up. What's what's your robot's name? I mean. I call it Frank, but <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a Frank. Yeah. I, can I? Can I, I take a look a little at mustache it? Mustache on yeah. him, you know. <laughs> you mind if I take a look at uh, Frank here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just don't take off them googly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it all worth it. I would never. Matt, the accent's incredible. Thank you. I just keep <laughs> saying <laughs> Forsters Australian for beer <laughs> before I talk. Be a wee, a wee. Um, oh, oh shit! Um, you know, there's a recall on this model, right? On oh, Frank? Yeah, yeah. This could <laughs> it could it, it if this if there's there's a um, there's a problem with the uh, the casing for the battery the power there. If uh, if if water gets in there, it could electrocute someone in the pool. You know, oh. I work for this company. I do mind. I'll, I'm going to take this take this today, and we'll send you a okay. new one yeah. out as soon as we can. Okay. Yeah. I don't want anything to happen to any of your guests here. Yeah, that's fine. All right? I mean, we. I, I will. I will leave the googly eyes and mustache. Oh, I can't. The mustache is is drawn on, right? Yeah. But I'll leave you I the googly eyes so- for the next one. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you so much. And I'm. Yeah. I'm just. I'm so glad I got here in time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and he's just good talk. Shaking his head yeah. as you like scoop yeah. it all up yeah. and walk away, and <laughs> as like just as you're getting out of earshot, he goes, "Do you want the extension cord?" <laughs> <laughs> Mixed success. <laughs> success. <laughs> Hopefully there's an inverter on the phone. <laughs> cool. Uh, so you guys are able to gather up everything you need. You board this uh, pontoon-esque charter boat and start across the uh, channel out to Barrows Island. It's uh, it's like 30 miles, but water's pretty calm. So, you know, you've got that Dramamine if you need it. But, you know, it's relatively smooth steaming out there as uh as captain paul gives you all basic scuba diving lessons yeah so walter to- give me a turn on that guitar man the song <laughs> is by cannibal corpse it's called fucked with a knife ready <laughs> he 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 was going to hand you the guitar and then kind of like i start singing a metal song as an acoustic song <laughs> uh, you know what the chords are Dude, I literally sold my soul to the devil to be the best guitarist in the world. Do you think I know where the fucking chords are? Yeah. Jesus Christ, this guy. You sold your soul to the devil? Yeah. Shouldn't joke around about stuff like that, Trent. I start playing guitar like (laughs) ridiculously good (laughs) without looking, like just staring at you. (laughs) See that pony boy? He crosses Uh himself. (laughs) (laughs) One sold his soul to God, one to the devil. We are going to be okay. <laughs> I also just wanted to be known. I wrote this down. I am in tribal clothing while in Australia. <laughs> so I'm wearing traditional like Zulu. Hot as shit. Like probably. just like a little mm-hmm. loincloth. Yeah. Basically oh, yeah. wearing a loincloth and some yeah. power cords around my forearm. Aren't you from Boston? <laughs> sure. <laughs> but the, the goddess is inside me. Show me what to wear. I Googled it. <laughs> I think uh, Trent's probably wearing skinny right, jeans and uh, uh, like cradle of filth t-shirt. So definitely not dressed to go swimming. <laughs> Word. Yeah, he gets, so Captain Paul gives you basic, basic scuba diving lessons. About how to put your fins on, mm-hmm. how to don a wetsuit if you all choose to wear a wetsuit, uh, as well as how to properly sort of adjust and use your regulator and mask uh, for cer- certain depths. Um, and only takes a few hours. You guys steam out to that, the northeastern part of Barrows Island, and uh, he t- he gets you pretty close up to shore. He points out a few sort of different caves along the island that are um, visible from shore, and uh, also through the sort of depth sonar on the boat itself. He shows you, he travels over a few cave, underwater caves that are actually the entrances are, you know, 10, 15, 20 meters under the surface that seem to sort of angle underneath the land. Okay. Um, 
post. And uh, also, Trent, you the information you got from those scientists was those shrimp live in, they are a species of freshwater shrimp. So you know that they're not going to live in salt water. So they're going to be more... Deeper into the island. Deeper into the island. Yeah, where okay. the where salinity isn't going to yeah, reach. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I relay that. <laughs> are there are there um, like settlements out here? Are there towns? Yeah, there's okay. towns. Like there's there's all the uh, all the places where all the oil rig workers have to work, and then mm-hmm. everything that goes along with it. So there's probably a Hooters there as well. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Captain Paul, Couple can strip you clubs. can you actually go like up the rivers? On the island. Mm-hmm. Uh, in this boat? Yeah. Uh, they're not going to leave you in any caves, though. I mean, it's a couple, like, uh, small inland bodies of water, but as far as, or as I know, they're not getting you down. There's a, Wait. There's a couple of, like, sinkholes uh, from some of those oil rigs that you could probably get down from, but... I totally dropped out of life sciences. It I forget. This is the freshwater flow or the salt water? I look at Paul. Ah, fresh. Fresh on top, salt on the bottom. The scientist told me that the shrimp only live in fresh water. So they're not going to be out here. All right, so we got to get up up in there. But he's saying there's no caves. No, there's... He said they are not easy to get to and not safe. Yeah, He showed you there's a couple that you can see like dotting the rock lines and then shows you a few on the sort of like sonar radar of underwater. I say, but those would entrances. all be like salt water, right? I mean, as far as I know, yeah. We're gonna there we're is, gonna need to get a car. We're gonna need to get on land, and we're gonna need to go find these caves on land, right? I mean, Paul the, is saying there's no caves. No, there's definitely gonna be caves on land, or we can go down one of those sinkholes. I think you're saying oh. by the, by the river that he could get up. There might not be. Yeah, the. Rivers just, you know, they kind of drain right down onto the beaches. Okay, cool, cool. So there might be caves, but you don't know because you're a boat guy. Yeah, I and we we mostly can mostly stick out here. Take all this kit. I mean, you got our card, so you know we're good for it, and we're not going anywhere. We're not up on the island. Yeah, y- y- y'all. Anything breaks, you know, I'll just charge it. To be honest, man, just fucking charge it and say it broke. You. Either way, it's oh. cool. Okay. Yeah, I- I'd like you. <laughs> So hey, uh, I, I think Paul, don't do that. I think we got to get to uh, uh, okay. we got to get to one of the towns. Uh, Paul, Captain Paul, is that okay? Like you, we need to we need to get okay. a, we need yeah. to get a car. That's what we got to do. No, no, hey, not a car, well, not a car. Hey, car. Or Boris has plenty car? of money. It's time to distribute the wealth a little bit. You know. Um. Yeah. Listen, any wealth we distribute is going to adversely affect um, my. Uh, shares and my pension and i'm not gonna do that so um what we need to do is find some atvs um cars are for schmucks uh <laughs> we're going off road here we're, we need some orvs that doesn't um, look cooler yeah, we can yeah. be really cool we can be those. really cool with atvs we'll with our the jungle with our like scuba stuff strapped to the back it's gonna look really awesome uh, well i like the idea of the atvs i mean i think uh we do want to be getting out where we can get to and it might not be on a road and i don't even know how many roads are on this island, so get some ATVs. We got our gear from Captain Paul, and you know, let's get to it. Daylight's burning. Just like midday. For once, I actually agree. So let's do it. Let's get out of here, Ken. All right. So I'll just drop you on the fucking beach, and uh, you want me to pick you up, or if can- if you can like drop us at the town, that would be preferable. Yeah, somewhere we can rent the. Yeah, like where do where do you drop off tourists? Is there like a you know touristy beach where they rent shit out and all that? I mean, I just drop them in the fucking water. This is a dive boat, so you know, kind of let them in offshore. They swim around, get back on the boat, and I go back. You know, you do understand like the concept of civilization and like dropping us off like maybe somewhere where we need to be though. Right, just where we can get those four wheels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll. Uh. There's um. There's a wall town. On the coast shore. Hey, I'm sorry, Captain Paul. Don't mind him. I don't think he had a good relationship with his father. Okay. So he's kind of. <laughs> you know, he's a little disgruntled. At the Did world. you? 
You don't, it doesn't seem that way. Well, no. It's not my place. I found the only Sorry. father that matters. Yeah, I mean, we could, we could, like, you could drop us off a little bit, um, you know, in the water, and we could scuba dive in, and that would look pretty cool, too. Like, I think, I think that, Who's, who's watching? Ken? No um, one's watching. I mean, I could take a video for you. Yeah. You all want no, to leave a cell phone? No, or no, take, like, a nice, no. We like, just cool, need like, to get it on It looked land. like one of those Navy SEAL videos y'all have in Oh, man, I love that movie. We all, you know, we all come up on land, take the wetsuits off, and <laughs> then, um, you know, go up and uh, find some ATVs and then strap the scuba gear to the back of it. Um, and it can dry off as we're as we're riding around on the ATVs, and um, all the uh, oil workers will be really impressed, which is what I'm going for. It will be a sign. <sighs> that does sound pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I mean, all right, it- so I'll yeah, I'll just drop you off here, and I'll go to shore. And whose camera am I using? I I yeah, here here. I give him my all phone. right. Yeah yeah. yeah. So you guys disembark from the boat and all your scuba gear and <laughs> Captain Paul putters up to the shore and, you know, films a, films a nice little video. Who wants to give me a cool <laughs> roll to see how well so this goes? Easy. I, I want to because I have a negative one and I that's also. how fucking cool this will be. But it's okay, guys. I'm going to, I'm gonna, Walter's going to help. Navy okay. SEAL commercial is the only acceptable use of blackface. I think, I think Walter's, <laughs> he's done a little scuba earlier in his day. But not enough to help. So here's, here's the key. Here's the key. You gotta you gotta drop the ballast as you, as you're leaving the water. Otherwise, you look so uncool walking on the beach. Trust me, from past experience. Also, guys, take the flippers off. We try uh, walking 12. in flippers. You're gonna look like an asshole. Where's yeah, you? Right. Trent knows the shit. Ken, you have seven seven years of cruise. <laughs> A cruise expertise. You know, I mean, if you if you add up all the cruises I've been on, it's probably about seven full years of my life spent on cruise ships. <laughs> that is incredible. Um, yeah. I would love to hear about it sometime. You've never been on a cruise before? No. Oh my it's, god, hockey! It, it will change it, your life. It, I feel like it's too many people, and the cruise ships always get stuck. So, as, as you guys are chatting, Walter has strapped onto his gear, and you see you see him put his mask down, and give out a little okay. Flips off the back, but his ballast weights weren't attached properly. And they <laughs> slip down and they catch on his ankles, and you just see him drop straight to the bottom of the water. <laughs> it's like fifteen feet of water. There he goes as the, as y'all are having this conversation. As he's sinking, I I look over towards uh, Bobby and I say, you know, I I was seriously thinking about cursing that guy, but it's like just too fucking easy. Like you don't we don't even need to. He's I mean, like, I, I'm I am still like in total shock that he survived the first day. It's amazing. His look. I mean, just look. I at think him. he's is dying. He, is right he, is now. he drown, <laughs> drowning right now? I, <laughs> he might be. Should Should we save him? <laughs> Who him? No, he'll be I mean, fine. It's not that deep. If you see that the weight slip off your foot and you <laughs> you're able to come back up I'm, to the surface, but you come back up and you see. Nobody made any effort to like. They're just, all just looking just over the side of the boat. I just imagine Captain Paul like standing <laughs> off to the side, listening to us talk about this. Should we save him? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, boys. I'm. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Here, Walter, take my hand. Take my hand. Well, you got to watch out for those. Who they got some? The weights. You got to watch out for the weights. Yeah, we, they'll pull you right. the Fuck, yeah. are you still alive? We were going to help you. I promise. You do have to watch that the belt is properly attached, Walter. That was uh, the rookie mistake there. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess first run, you know. Um, I think somebody was looking out for you. Yeah. Oh, I know it, brother. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you play this character too good, dude. He's always looking. The, there's a little bit of your mom in this character. <laughs> did you did you play football by any chance in high school? Uh, All right. Well, everybody good. Don't fucking do it like him. So everybody in the water, I'll film you from the shore, and uh, you know, fucking good luck. All right. I think I got. I'm ready for round two. Okay. See y'all. It's a pretty badass, led by Walter. <laughs> he comes up with a chef's knife between his teeth <laughs> out of the water, just his eyes, and then the glint of the knife as he breaks the surface, and then the rest of you come up behind. Walter, you come up backwards, though. The back of your head comes up. <laughs> That's good. But it looks pretty badass. Uh, 
So you guys disembark from the ship. You have all of your gear, uh, and it actually is right next to one of these sort of oil towns that you're able to like hike up and uh, rent a few ATVs. Um, I'll say you get three, so four of you will have to double up, and one will ride solo. <laughs> so unacceptable. I want to ride Butts to nuts. Yep. I'm riding behind yes. Walter. Yeah. Walter is graced by God. I got to get behind him. Trent, you should do uh, with that video like a promotional thing for the restaurant, like a MySpace video. Dude, it's a fucking secret restaurant. Haven't you figured that out yet? But, 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 but make one of those virus videos. <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean a viral video. Yeah, Walter, Walter does have a point here. I think that our customers would be even more impressed if they saw the lengths we go through uh, to get the the uh, food we put on the plate for yeah. them. It, it's it's all good. I already put it up on Illuminati TikTok. We could cool. do a sick montage of like with to, you know to um to uh, you know maybe some Billy Joel or uh, anything from Bruce Springsteen's Tunnel of Love album. You know, just some good solid background music. Dude, Kanye just ass. liked our video. Check that out. No way. Yeah. We should totally do the yacht rock. Cool. I love a good yacht rock. Yes. Um, Give me some Holland Oats. Walter <laughs> fires up mm-hmm. his ATV. Uh, who's Kanye? All right. <clears throat> I thought you voted for him, man. Jump hmm. on. Let's ride. Oh, I hop right on, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think we we jump on our ATVs. and uh, I, I let the, let the uh, leader of the pack have his solo ride, so yep. I'll ride with Bobby. Okay. Uh, in the process of renting these ATVs, you all get a sort of general direction on where some of these closed oil fields are, where there were some uh, destabilizations and sinkholes were created. Okay. Um, None of them really have any specifics as to what's going to be at the bottom of the sinkholes, unless somebody wants to kind of go around and like try to ask, find, find some sort of foreman for this company's town to ask them if they have any information, but you do get, yeah, there's some fucking whole, like some shit fell into the ground out that way, out in the, out in the fields that. I think, uh, one other thing that, um, uh, Bobby thinks we may need is, uh, rope. What do you need the rope for? (laughs) So I think he's going to buy like a couple of things of rope so that we can, if we have to lower ourselves down into any of these caves or anything like that. Hemp in or silk? <laughs> uh, good question. Bo- Bobby, you don't bring rope with you anyway? I thought that was kind of your thing. No, no. Uh, why Why would you think? You always have the weird shit on you. I don't, you. Know. I don't I know. You have like, you You brought a, a eggplant with you last time? <laughs> and you put the flare in the in the stove? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you think, think, do you think, do you think ghosts get PTSD? Because I haven't seen Guy since that kitchen burned down. Um, a guy should have been watching his croissants then and the kitchen wouldn't have burned down. Well, I think he could actively remember himself burning to death. So, you know, I mean... Yeah, he probably could. He, you, it, it should be, it should be, it should be a lesson to him. I didn't do anything, Bobby. Well, Guy left croissants in the oven. You saw. You had a zucchini in your bag <laughs> on the last trip and not a flare. So uh, you know, at least uh, you know, at least I have a zucchini. That's mm. all I'm gonna say, Bobby. Um, an eggplant, actually. It was an eggplant. Um, vegetables. Walter, Walter, he's got a mind for vegetables. This guy, <laughs> green and mean. He he tries to fist bump you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tap that. Uh, uh, maybe somebody wants to gather some information. I was, <laughs> you yeah, motherfuckers. If I, yeah, right? if I can grab, um, I also want to see if there are any like old school maps of the island. Okay. Are we investigating a mystery here? We are. I'm actually, I just kind of sit down. I'm looking at my phone, right. well, put in my headphones. So you, um, I can help somebody on a roll. I'm actually like Googling it. I'm yeah. like looking online to see if like, if there's um, like cave tours and sh- anything like that, or like any, if anyone's like put up any videos of like weird th- shit on the island, you know? So I'm going to use my lack of charm. Um, well, more, more my sharp to investigate mystery, but I'm, I'm going to be a, um, an irritable um, uh, Australian EPA inspector. <laughs> I love that Ken always has to play a role, even mm-hmm. though it's completely, it's unnecessary. completely unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> 
who is here to talk to the foreman about um, things that may or may not be in the bottom of some of these sinkholes. Okay. And he's going to try to do it with an Australian accent to try to really convince them that he's, uh, yeah, they're he's accent. Australian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. You got to say crikey. Crikey. Because, you know, every time I hear a Boston accent in a movie, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm always Have so yeah. convinced. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Give me a roll. Give me a... Uh... Either investigate or give me manipulate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna investigate. I'm, I'm here. I'm here for investigative purposes. All right. Uh, I got an eight. Okay. So it's a mixed success. So I, I don't think my Australian accent's going to fool them, but that's okay. It kind of slips into British it a, do, little a little bit. bit. A little bit slips into the British accent. <laughs> yeah. Stop talking about crumpets and things. <laughs> they don't know where I'm from. Mate, we we throw shrimp on a barbie down here. Oh, of tea and fucking crumpets. Uh, uh, shrimp. Shrimp is, is an interesting uh, discussion point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> John Connery? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go Scottish with it. Uh, it's an interesting you discussion say you're point. from fucking EPA? Yeah, um, the international EPA. <laughs> <laughs> to explain yes. um, Okay. Interpol EPA. EPA. Um, <laughs> sure. We're here to investigate your caverns. We got some strange reports about some occurrences in your caverns. <laughs> the- <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. In your plums. The international Interpol EPA is out here looking for. Listen. Holes? Listen, you got sinkholes on your island, man. Yeah. Yeah. How'd they get there? Oil rigs. All right. And and are the oil rigs still in there? What'd you leave behind? Oil rigs. All right. Yeah, they down there. Anything else? (laughs) Water? Because if we die... Oil? Okay, okay. Dirt? Dirt. That makes sense. (laughs) Ah... Honestly, man, I'm not sure what you're looking for. Listen, you know, sometimes when when we when we encounter these sorts of things in the international Interpol EPA, <laughs> we, I, I. we have we, you know there, there's there's some some mystical things that happen. I don't know. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Have you seen, has there been any strange occurrences on your island? I mean, uh, not that I know of. Just fucking same old, same old. Yeah, mate, we just dig oil. We put big ass fucking holes in the hey. ground and extract a good good. You're an honest man doing an honest job, and I appreciate that. Um, and me too. So we, you know, we just got to investigate these these sinkholes, and then we'll be out of your hair. All right? Okay. Yeah. I mean, you want one of the deep ones? There's one that crashed. Uh, Maybe about like three months ago, probably about a 30, 40 footer. And I mean, are there like, is there any uh, wildlife in any of these uh, holes of yours? Some of them fucking science blokes. Yeah. They said there's some shit down there. I think they're trogla, trogladitos, something Tro- like that. Trogladitos. That sounds like some kind of a uh, uh, fucking gremlin or something. I said snack. It sounded like a snack to me, snack. like a Dorito, but Troglodito, just, you know, like shrimp flavored or something. Oh. I'm not sure, you know. I see a future there. We're going to we're gonna market that one, too. Excuse me. Um, could you could you point out the one, if you have a if you have a, a chart of the of the land, could you point out are the, are the Trogloditos in, in all the sinkholes or just certain ones? He uh, he pulls he goes off into one of the like portable camper um, offices that they have in a lot of these sites and pulls out a map and he points out like two or three different sinkholes that are unexplored, but scientists have had piqued interest in them. What they were, what piqued their interest, he's not sure. Um, But he also does tell you that they're, were some health and safety issues at a couple of them, some sort of toxic fumes that had been noticed rising from these sinkholes. Yeah, we should probably should have brought some kind of uh, meter for that. That's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, mate, you're a fucking EPA. You know, yeah. no, we got, we got that. We got that. We got Walter. So we're good. Um, 
canary water. Is <laughs> <laughs> that what so you call it, your canary? It, well, our, our canary is named Walter. Exactly. Walter? Um, so, so listen, uh, if you don't mind, can I just take a, we'll take a quick selfie, uh, just so I can report back to base, show my Ben here. And, um, maybe for when we do the montage video, we can, you know, put like, I will remember you by Sarah McLaughlin over <laughs> it or something. And it'll look really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Let, yeah. let me get my hot hat. Yeah. 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 Can I wear one too? Sure. All right. You get your selfie, yeah. you get your little map of the, yeah. uh, of where, where you can go and you get the information on the uh, fumes that had been found rising from some of these. Trent, you also investigated a mystery, correct? Yeah. Can I? I actually am going to Google fresh local seafood and find the highest rated restaurant on the island. Okay. And then I say, hey, well, while Ken is gone, I say, hey, guys, I think we can write this off as a business expense, right? How so? Check it out. Fresh local seafood. I mean, this place looks really good. Uh, I mean, it's a it's research for making meals, but also, you know, this is part of the local food chain. We we can make it work. I, I don't think we need to do that. I mean, we got. Are we you got, hungry? Yeah, but we got beef jerky. We got bread and this marmite. It's like Australian peanut butter. I think. Check out this red snapper. I show you a picture. <laughs> Oh, that looks delicious. <laughs> Australian peanut butter. <laughs> Shit. Just imagine somebody eating Marmite with a vision of peanut butter in their mouth. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, gross. That seems a little wasteful. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty parched. Ha, can you pass me good waters in the cooler? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, would you like the wild berry or the grapefruit? Oh, like seltzers? <laughs> yes, it's sparkling. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have lime as well. Oh, sure. Grapefruit. You know, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Cucumber melon. It's good. <laughs> it's cooling. Sure. I, yeah, yeah that sounds right. Crack open and pass it to you. Mm. Give um, Trent a heavy wink. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little zip to it. <laughs> oh, no. oh it's, it's, it, is, it is the cucumber melon. Um, at the same rate, or before, after, whatever, because I know we're talking about the seafood place. Are we concerned about sharks? Should I maybe try and find some shark repellent or something? To <laughs> keep us no, safe. Because we're going freshwater. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. You, I forgot. You have heard of bull sharks in Australia. <laughs> bull sharks are they can serious. travel up into freshwater. Yep. But you're going into aquifers, so probably underground yeah, probably we'll don't be. have to worry too much about sharks. So Matt, I don't know if you want me to roll for that yet or or wait. But oh, so I can. What, was it? what were you looking for? I, the, oh, the, the, best, yeah. the best local seafood restaurant on the island. Yeah, give me a roll. All right. uh, investigate a mystery. Could I help? Do I got need a 13. It? No, He's he been Googling it. away. 13. Oh. Uh, uh, 12. Sorry. 12. Wait. 11 plus 2 is 13. <laughs> 13. <laughs> Math. Math. Yeah. You, uh, you, got, you hop on Yelp. You know Yelp isn't the best for reviews, but you find something that's upwards of uh, 3,500 reviews, and they've kept above 4.5 stars. But it is called Kathy's Shack and Chips is the highest rated restaurant on Jack the island. Kathy's. And you do read it is owned by an expat. Oh, shit. I say this, we're going to get good info here. This is recon, recon work. Yeah, all right. I do want to try this. This all Aussie peanut butter, but <laughs> let's save that for later. A little post Spelunkin snack. Uh, you will need it later. Mm. <laughs> You mean those cucumber melons? <laughs> oh, absolutely. 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 <laughs> Crack another one for him. Oh, is there a, is there like a role for getting hammered? You know, thing? I will join you. I will is have one myself. Constitution? <laughs> we're, we're all going to lose a point tough, of humanity. Tough, tough by tricking the alcoholic into drinking. Oh. Ken, there have been some interesting developments. Oh, oh yeah? What, what we got? We're, we got Kathy's Shack and Chips. Over 3,000 reviews on Yelp, 4.8 rating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. over 3,000 in there, 4.8? Yeah. How are they doing that? That's what I want to know. No shit. My restaurants, uh, all four of them could never get higher than a three-star rating on Yelp. because you didn't pay for it. You got to pay for Yelp. That's the way it works. You got to pay for everything. It also might have been the food quality, but, you know. (laughs) Because your holiday sauce is amazing. You can just pay for it, and it'll be better. Here's the thing, though. This is good to know. I mean, you know. Fresh local seafood. That means that Kathy is going to know what's up. Fellas, we're burned daylight. We got to, I mean, let me take it to go. Shrimp don't give a shit about daylight. We're going in a cave. We don't give a shit about daylight. 
We are going in the dock. And we have night vision goggles. We hit up Kathy's. Let's go see Kathy. It's research. It's research. We get some food. Yeah. Plan our action. Ken? Come on, I mean, buddy. I, you know, I know there's a Hooters on the island, and I would, you know, I would probably rather go there, but it's research. So we'll we'll go see Kathy. Maybe, maybe she wears orange short shorts too. I don't know. <laughs> you better hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So you go to Kathy's. It is a glorified shack on the beach. Uh, she has cold beers, crispy fries, chips, and a plethora of fried local seafood, as well as some grilled local seafood. She's got shrimp on the barbie. She's got salmon. She's got barramundi. She's got a lot of sort of local indigenous fish uh, on the menu. You don't see anything labeled as uh, Stego Caris. Maybe Kathy would know uh, where the uh, where the shrimp is. There is there's a fucking line. Like there's probably like thirty five minutes until you can get up to the counter to order, and it's a bunch of like gruff oil workers that are all sort of waiting in line, waiting to order their lunch. It's like midday now. Ah, uh, boys, we don't have time for this. Oh no 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 we. We will, we will not have to wait either. Maybe we can <laughs> bribe somebody. Just wait. What's the big deal? Or, or, or it's maybe, maybe, maybe Kathy. I mean, she's not even, she's not even selling the popcorn shrimp that we're after. But maybe these guys. He kind of waves his hand to the line. You know, they may have seen what we're after. They may have. They're. They've been down there. Well, yeah. guys, oh. hold, I got a. That's that's true. That's true. But I got an idea. Look, Kathy's back there fucking slaving away on her own. Me? You think, you think we should hop in and help get, get I, Kathy a hand? I think so. Me and Hockey will stay here, keep our place in line. We're just front of house people anyway. Okay. Why don't you guys get back there, help bust this line, and then we'll get our fucking food. I don't know let's about do this, the staffing Let's do this, this gorilla idea. style. I whack Bobby on the back and say, go get her. Hey, get that! Get my get my boy Walter here. Another one of those salsas. He needs oh, to stay hydrated. Absolutely, I'll grab Absolutely. one too. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go well, rock you know, this with I guess Kathy. It's for the restaurant, right? <laughs> yeah, you you need restaurant? one too. Everybody needs one. And and while you are gone, I will gonna be start great. to prepare the cocktails for the meal. Hey, I mean, don't worry, if, <laughs> fellas. I appreciate it, but like, I mean, the solidarity means a lot. But go ahead and you know let loose. Ha- have a have a brewski <laughs> if you guys want to drink. Shut up and drink more of these water. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkling Walter, water. Think of this as a, a an exchange program, yeah, little, right? Little, uh, International restaurant exchange program. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, we'll see what we can do. I mean, help them out a little bit. Maybe we get a little info back there. You guys get a little info out here and turn and burn, and we'll, we'll get on out to this hole. We'll work the line. You guys. Mm-hmm. You guys bust it. All right, those who are going to try to <laughs> infiltrate Kathy's kitchen, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. who's taking the lead on trying to get back there? Does someone else want to try to sweet talk her? Because I'm going to just try to barge in. I, Matt, did I, you I, think the game was going this way? Uh, <laughs> I had no preconceived notions going into this. You're getting popcorn you think, shrimp. That's all I know. You think I should? I'm, I'm just going to bust in and I'm, and I'm going to let, uh, I'm, I'm going to be like, Walter. not bad cop. Yeah. But uh, Walter will. Uh, Walter's gonna assist, and then we'll uh, Iceman will be. Walter might want to do, yeah. All do, right, do some talking. And so I'm gonna. Is, is this gonna be a manipulate someone role? Yes. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. You sure you don't want me to take the lead on this? I got a five. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh my god. Yeah, as, uh, so I like. There's like a back door on the shack. Yeah. No. No. It's open. It's, it's, open? it's just like a. It's like a screen door. So I just. Pull it open, barge right in. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, Kathy, it's, uh, yeah, mate, you probably recognize me. I'm a uh, formerly world renowned chef, Ken Wiley. Uh, I've had several, uh, I had steakhouses uh, in. Um, you better get the fuck out of my goddamn kitchen, Wiley. Oh, you recognize me? I don't know who the fuck you are, but you better get the shit out of here. I would prefer. I'll oh, tell you I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, if I may. I, um, Oh, you cute. Walt, Walter Bernays, um, f- former <laughs> like chef. Like the sauce. Uh, you spell different, but just like it. How you spell it? 
Uh, we, e, e, I'm, a, I'm not good at spelling. I don't know how to spell yeah. the sauce. I'm how do you spell e, a, your name? I'm E A. It's O O U by the I, French way. I always spelled it B U. Uh, is it uh, you spell like ten I C? Because you the only ten I C. Huh? <laughs> yeah. He, he, he blushes a little bit. He says, "Well, well listen, we're actually we're we're, uh, we're from a restaurant in New York. I'm, yeah, I'm I, at a fucking restaurant right here, and I got a fucking line. I'm already hey, on the fryer. And like, how about we help you bust yeah. that line out? I." Okay, yeah, it looks like your little boy over there has got some good uh, good chops on that fryer. Yeah, and let me just get just, roll these sleeves up, and I'm going to get right in there. This line's going to go away faster than a popsicle in Miami. All right, give me a uh, pick hot. some ass roll. <laughs> okay. Let's see how pick well you can handle this uh, how many, rush. How many popsicles can you handle in Miami? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, it's a five. Uh, are we all kicking ass or is it just... Uh, think, yeah. yeah, everybody, everybody's going to help out right. in that kitchen. Give me a kick your ass roll. Ten. Thanks. Me and you are we're in line. Yeah, hockey and hockey and uh, <laughs> Trent, Trent are in line. XP. Actually, Dude. hockey and Trent. I Trent. I I asked the people in front and in back of us in line if they want a drink. And open up that cooler. Oh, we start cracking them, baby. Yeah. We can also yeah. use this opportunity to sweet talk some of the. Are there yeah. uh, are there potatoes or are their fries like frozen? Uh, she, the, I'm sorry, chips, chips. Um, she uses I'm frozen so, I'm sorry. chips. I'm I'm sorry for for using um an an American term for your uh delicious fried foods. Hey, you know what? It's not my fucking food down here. They call them chips. I'm just trying to sell them. Fucking fries to me. Oh, that's Freedom right. fries. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. Toss you the, ain't just whistling the in the basket. Uh. Hake and Trent, can you give me manipulate role or one of you, if one of you wants to take the lead, if one wants to help out um, kitchen, Bobby, the fuck are you doing? Give me some shrimp. You want to, you want to lead charm. that? You want to lead that? And I'll help. I out. got a minus one charm. You want me to lead it? I, I also have a minus one. I'll do it. So nice. you lead it. I'll help out. Six. I rolled a five, two. Five, five, five. Oh my lord. Six minus one. I got five. She just got it. her first one star review <laughs> on Yelp. No, we're not. There. We're in the line. We're, yeah, we're to... outside. We're, we're trying to butter up the workers. So you guys are out in the line and you're trying to get buddy buddy with a bunch of these workers. Yeah. But unfortunately, they're real men and they're not trying to drink fucking White Claws. Then that work? So, Damn. You know, you guys, so, you guys try yeah. to hand them some berry White Claws. <laughs> and My African accent doesn't help. Would you like we've, a salsa? We've got, we've got the fucking. <laughs> Sounds so much more. The dude in it. the traditional African clothes. And then Trent, who yes. probably is drinking a, a berry seltzer <laughs> with his painted fingernails. Mm. <laughs> Despite what the news would tell you, America's not the only racist country. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Australia. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. They, they, they did some bad things, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're, uh, you're able to cut the line. You're able to sweet talk a few of the people out of line. Oh, um, we're not trying to get them out of line. We're trying to get info, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Them, or they I would know better maybe where caves are or something. So you've, yeah. uh, you've got Scrimps. you've got that map that tells you about where those caves are, but you're not really able to get any other information pertaining to your quarry in any of these. You're talking to a lot of sort of oil rig guys. Mm-hmm. They stay on the surface. They're not going down and finding out what's in these sinkholes. Um, you do find out that the scientists had the most interest in the ones that had the toxic fumes uh, rising out of them cool. in the kitchen. Um, Can I throw something in here? I would love it. Um, Walter failed his kick-ass roll. Okay. <clears throat> However, Walter- I'm going to use my mundane ability Oops. Uh, if you want to stumble across something important, tell the keeper. You'll find something important and useful, although not necessarily related to your immediate problems. Okay. You go to help Ken on fry. Ken is fucking crushing it. He's His baskets are chocolate block full of french fries. They're coming out crispy. Ooh, He's got baby. orders ready just as the other stuff is coming up off of other parts Order of the up. line. Um <laughs> You're kind of trying to keep up and you're starting to fall behind on putting the paper in the baskets before you realize the box that you've been pulling these blue checks from to put in these plastic baskets. 
uh, is empty. And you holler out to Kathy and ask her where she keeps extra boxes of blue checks. She lets you know it's in the office in the shed behind. So you you go running out to the shed and you find a bunch of her invoices uh, from local fisheries. And you see that there are, as, uh, as well as the invoices, there are also order guides that are there. And you kind of look over all of these order guides and you do not see anything labeled quite what you're looking for. You can kind of assume from this that this probably isn't a thing that either she can order or is generally considered a food source. Got it. All right. He, he tries to hustle back into the kitchen, sweating. Ken, Ken has, ba- everything is up in his baskets waiting for these fried checks. And Drake. he's he's starting to fall behind. Drake, are you cutting fucking radish hearts over there? What the I am working on the drinks right now. The drinks are my priority. I'm making sure that the drinks are ice cold. Uh, one of the things he's going to do is he's going to try to lower the temperature in the kitchen. Like, because it's super hot. Oh, yeah. So he's just going to try to, just in the kitchen, so no one else notices, make it feel like there's air conditioning. Okay, give me a uh, weird roll. All right. Let's get weird. Get weird. Get weird. Man, I'm dying here. I need oh, snake oh, eyes. <laughs> Sweet. So, you are going to kill everybody. Uh, let, me, let me look at the uh, what can go wrong That's, here. What can go wrong? I think yeah. Matt's got it right there, too. If you look at use magic on the... Big magic? Use magic. Use magic. Use magic. If you look at the... Uh, glitches. Glitches. Yeah. The effect is weakened. The oh. effect... Is of short duration. Oh no! On on that's a fail though. That's not a a glitch. Is like these are the glitches. Yeah, but a glitch is for when you succeed. But like right, but that's there's right, a downside. That's right. But it's a good guideline for mm-hmm. just abject failure. Oh, I'm sweating like a lady of the night in church. Pass me on one of those damn seltzers. I'm dying. Wait, am I over there? No, we're in the line. I oh, say, you, you know what? We gave you some of them. I say, yeah, his lines are moving quick. It, that's cool. They must be kicking. Oh wait, Ooh, they uh, must be kicking us over there. Okay, so... Walter, it seems like you're truly enjoying these. <laughs> oh, the brand. That's funny. That's fine. I never even heard of these things. <laughs> Wait, what's the, what are we doing? What do you got? White cards? <laughs> these are better than those spin drifts. They got, got a little more tang to them. They you know, Trent? Zip, yeah. I wonder, I wonder if Walter has another salsa yet. <laughs> yeah, we're... I mean, I'm already going to hell. I know that for sure. It's in the contract. But you guys are probably going to hell for for, for doing oh, that. Oh, I am exiled. Yeah. So I I'm screwed already. Cool. Robert, you you she's got a uh, a swamp cooler hanging mm-hmm. on one of the walls and you kind of go up to it and how does using your magic work? What is that what does it look like that you're trying to do? <clears throat> so I'm trying to be pretty um pretty low key about it. So there's probably all these uh, fans going in the kitchen, I imagine. Yep. So he's going to stand next to one of the fans and just kind of try to radiate cold in order to blow it through the kitchen and then effectively create this air conditioning. Uh, Yeah. Something goes terribly wrong. He does have the, his ability could have been worse. So if it's going to like blow the kitchen up, I can drop one of those priorities, but uh, yeah, something still goes awfully wrong. I'd also point out that your alternate type of magic is necromancy. Yep. And I believe basically one side of your dagger is ice magic and the other side is necromancy. That is correct. Just point that out. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you kill the rest of the line. Arise, chicken, arise. Bring all the, bring all the fish back to life. <laughs> You go to this fan and you kind of have your back to Kathy as she's sort of at the register taking mm-hmm. these orders and handing out the drinks to people, calling calling out the orders, expediting. And you kind of start weaving your magic behind this fan to sort of blow cold air out. And it works a little too well. It is almost like there is a blast chiller that comes blowing out of this <laughs> out of this fan. And there's a moment where it's like, man, this feels really fucking nice. But then you see that the where this fan is blowing is right on the hot, fresh, crispy friolator food that's coming mm-hmm. out of the mm-hmm. kitchen. And Perfect. it is immediately cooling it down and causing 
the fat to solidify on top Perfect. and cool down. And Kathy is just, she's in her, uh, she's in the zone of just passing food out and, uh, One star reviews. Mm-hmm. Yet, uh, <laughs> hockey and Trent, you both, you start hearing murmurs in the line in front of you of people complaining about their food being cold and you, you see the Bobby quality behind Kathy making like this cutoff sign <laughs> at his neck. Oh, oh, something is not good. We're falling behind. We're drowning back here. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Pick it up. I get the chills. You got the ch- wait up. Should we go help? Um, Bobby yeah. is like really fastidiously working on something totally unrelated to anything over in that section of the kitchen. Can you notice your fry, the fry laters, they're not keeping temperature. Nothing's quite coming out crispy. The oil is starting to cool down. It's, it's starting to get real ugly. Drake, I will fucking end you. I don't, I don't, I'm over here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Would I be able to maybe access that? pouch of mine or that space and pull out some because the uh workers didn't want like white claws maybe i can pull out like a, some kind of bottle of booze to kind of chill the crowd out and you know kind of edge off a little bit i don't know if that'll help or if we if i should just run in the back and maybe help in the kitchen but i'm also a bartender so i'm gonna get people yeah drunk. i'd say being a bartender you sort of know that to appease a grumpy customer is to give them uh hey, this a one's drink on the, on the house is usually the easiest and cheapest way to does kathy have booze? somebody she does serve fosters how about i buy from and Bud Light. so i could maybe appease kathy plus buy some drinks for her the peeps, you know, not like pulling up my own booze and stealing money from her. <laughs> sure. Uh, give me an act under pressure roll. Under pressure. Ooh, I got a plus one cool as a cucumber. Snake eye. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, you, poor by the way, Dante, every time you fail a roll, yep. check a box for yeah, experience. Yeah. So, so wait, I, think I think that's you got... my second fail. Yeah. Yes. I forgot about that too. So this... This murmuring of displeasure of these customers are getting Ooh, louder and you see Hake out front and he's he's kind of started to to interact with a lot of these unhappy guests and you see him handing out these little plastic cups of of something to drink and uh Hake you Okay, man, I don't think this is going well. You pulled out a <laughs> bottle that you had labeled as a as a shrub. Uh, sort of uh-huh. a, a yep. cocktail mixer. Yep. Um, but in your sort of panic and seeing kind of everything floundering in the back of the kitchen, you forget to put booze into this. So you're essentially giving people these <laughs> vinegar, sugar, herb yes. shots. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. That I, effort, uh, that I put so much effort into. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a very tasty shrub, but it is not something <laughs> that anybody wants to drink when their fried food is fucking cold and they got to go back and work in the old oil fields Mm -hmm. on an empty stomach. And this murmur starts to turn into a revolt. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just... (laughs) There are customers coming up to the window and they're starting to harass Kathy. Uh, You in the kitchen, you hear her starting to like, oh, what do you mean it's cold? No, I don't... We... I'm not handing those out. That's not for me. Those are my... cup And... She turns around and she looks at the back of the kitchen and she sees the three of you standing there in yep. front of cold fry <laughs> and yeah. a blast so, chiller blowing in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm going to. So this is this is all of a sudden I have a flashback <laughs> okay. to, uh, to some go. of my very early days um, in a kitchen. It was the uh, it was the mid 70s. Um, <laughs> Good old um, days. Yeah. You're fucking old. It's mid seventies. Working a. He is like yeah. sixty something. Right? Yeah, I'm yeah, in the 70s, yeah, 60s, yeah, yeah. I'm working a um, a you know a, a a just a, a fry shack right on uh right on the beach in Hawaii, um, but we specialize in um, frying um. Just you know, uh, kaiju essentially. Like it's yeah, okay. It's large scale. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I've been in the, the I've, I've been in the the uh, the uh, specialty restaurant business for a long time. Um, and 
I, I'm thinking back to a time where a very similar situation where the the friolators were uh, were weren't, weren't working, everything was fucked, and um, gonna troll through my memories and, uh, and remember how you unfucked remember. them. I and I don't fail um, the roll, and I fail the roll, which means fail the roll, which means. Uh, mm-hmm. But I, I just, I guess, I, I am personally complicit in creating this situation. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, and I just, I, I, I just, I'll, I just freeze up all of a sudden as I'm, as I'm trying to, re- as I'm remembering this, and then I remember what I did. Um, Bobby and begins I, to sidle out of the back of the kitchen very slowly. <laughs> Matt, no, you, b- b- oh. as you try to do that. Ken just pushes his way past you and runs away. <laughs> <laughs> bananas, boy! Bananas! Let's go! Let's get out of here! And Walter... ATVs, ATVs. GT. Sprints yep. yeah, out we of the kitchen. Ship. <laughs> Matt, while, while Kathy is um, chasing them out of her... Raging. Mm-hmm. Uh, chasing them out of her restaurant, can I try to use an ability as well? Sure. Uh, I want to try to use often overlooked. So I think Trent is used to being in the kitchen... And kind of work working around the the actual kitchen staff. Like I need to get a fucking side of sauce or whatever. Like staying out of their way, getting what he needs, getting in, getting out. Okay. Um. So this ability often underlooked. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll, and then I'll tell you what what happens if anything. Seven a nine. Uh. So I can be un. I can appear unthreatening or unimportant. So uh, okay. I'm gonna appear unimportant. Um, as, as she's chasing them out and I'm just going to grab a couple to go bags of food. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Yep. And then cold, cold, icy, cold fried food. Yeah. Whatever. Sure. Uh, I don't want French fry. I, 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 I need specifically actual seafood. Okay. For what I'm going to do. No problem. <laughs> there's, uh, there's some, some shrimp, a shrimp little bit of yeah. just a variety of, of shrimp, fish, whatever. Yeah. You get, uh, you get a bag of what would have been like a mixed fry. Cool. Fish scraps, some shrimp, All some right. some bits of whatever. And then I meet them out on the beach after they get their ass kicked by Kathy. And they yeah. see, and I'm just out there eating a bag of food. Walter's on the ATV. Hockey, jump on. We got to roll. <laughs> oh, 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 here I come. Here I come. Oh, no. Yeah. What, what, what happened? You, what you, did you do? Uh, you grab your fish and mm. you run around the back of the restaurant and you see them hopping on their ATVs. Scatter boys, there's only uh, so much island. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, their ATVs loaded with scuba gear and pool vacuums and rope. These should have been electric ATVs. This would have been better. Oh, shit. So you you run mm-hmm. back, you hop on your ATV as you see the dust kick up behind uh, our failed kitchen crew <laughs> as they head off um, I'm west. I'm house. Further Such. into the island, uh, looking for some sort of safety and respite from Kathy's intense rage. Uh, and I think that is where we're going to end this. <laughs> Amazing. Bottom Bottom the trail. Your legs. Wow. Epic failure. Oh, Chase <laughs> out. Yeah. Not this a whole lot of information. <laughs> game. No, leave that place in the You find yourself at the end of another episode. Thanks for listening and help others find and enjoy our content by rating and review us on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. It's always great to hear from you. Find us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, Google it. You'll find it. Uh, and we'd also like to thank our intro music. Or- it's, a, it's a Wilhelm Screams, Anti Marta Kynan, Adrian Von Ziegler. Yeah, hit it, Ken. They do great works. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, we got the Von Ziegler kid. He's great. Uh, Marta Kynan and uh, a Wilhelm Screams. Uh, make sure you check out our TikToks, too. Um, we're, bi- we're big into the TikTok now. It's where the kids are at. See you next week. Next Tuesday. Mmm, that's nasty.